Hello everyone, welcome back here to the channel Star Paulo Azul and Super Academico and we are going to keep the reading of the book, my book, Phenomena today with the cap, uh, the chapter 6 we're going to the chapter 6 so in the last chapter we had uh, Joseph going to the university he beginning his course in parapsychology so let's keep on chapter 6 I was walking I, I was walking around the campus I knew it very well I had already had four out of my six classes and was on my way to the main cafeteria I had not anything to eat since 9 p.m. <laughs> of the past evening and after the anxiety level went down I became extremely hungry I wanted to have lunch and I also hoped to bump into Eddie again I had only spoken to strangers all day long Harvard is a true city inside a city with its own administration and police offices. The main cafeteria really deserved the title name. That title. My chances of finding Eddie among the crowd were very small. I took a long walk around the place to see if I would see him, but unfortunately I didn't spot him and I was really starved. Then I decided to eat. I got the food from the self-service. It seemed as it seemed as bad as the one from high school, but I was so hungry that I would eat anything. I walked around with my tray until I found a place to sit down. Back in the high school, I got to pick who I wanted to eat with. Down here, I prayed to find a friendly face. Yet, unfortunately, they all seemed to the same. I felt a little lonely. I sat at the first empty seat I found. Everyone was eating and reading at the same time. It seemed like the myth about horror was true. All people do there is study. I didn't have anything to read. Besides, I had no guts to start a conversation with anyone. Therefore, I convinced myself to just eat and think. Out of the classes I had had, I'd had that day, the one I liked the most was history of parapsychology. Basically, I said that despite sounding similar to psychology, there was not a strong connection between the two. Parapsychology branches out of the unceasing, unceasing human attempts to rationalize what cannot be explained. In fact, a certain evolution in the field of psychology starts with the, with the diagnosis or an understanding of disease such as schizophrenia, hysteria, and paranoia. Everything was a little vague. Trying to hook up something considered superstition and or religion to the academia seemed um, an almost impossible task. As for me, I had I had the good fortune of living through phenomena in the absence of superstition. Thus, to me, that was something simple, a natural part of life as economics was to my father, but I still had a long way to run, for run. <laughs> I finished my meal, most people there were sitting at the, my table had already left. I still had half hour to queue before the, my next class at 2 p.m. I looked around to see if Ed had shown up, but he was nowhere to be found. I began to look uh, uh, through the notes I took in the in class. However, that was useless for everything was still very fresh in my head. Suddenly, you are any Thomerson brother, any Thomerson's brother, aren't you? Say what? 
I mean, yes, I am. Hi, I'm Betsy Monroe. I was your sister's classmate last year in theory of communication. Hi, I'm sorry. Have you... Have we been introduced before? I really don't remember you. I really don't remember you. Well, no, I do remember you because I... Because... Can I sit next to you? Sure. Good. I was saying... Uh, because your sister said that you had interest in paranormal phenomena and I... Have you ever seen one? Well, I don't know. I never told that to anyone. But where I came from in Georgia, I saw on my family's farm when I was 15 years old a lightning storm where I could swear I saw faces being drawn up in the sky. I got scared to death and today I still ruffle when I remember the expressions in the sky. I curiously looked at that friendly girl and that had just rec rescued me from a very boring lunchtime. I wondered whether what she had told me was really a phenomenon or simply the fertile imagination of a young country girl. It seemed to be true judging from the way she told me her story. So I kept on listening to her. I couldn't stop noticing how beautiful she was. Her attention also made me feel very well. Well, Betsy, I'm not an expert yet. However, I read a lot about this subject before I got accepted here. And that phenomenon seems to be the one described as tornado of souls. That happens when wild nature forces, in this case lightning, cross over uh, restless forces from the spiritual realm as if it was a doorway to their to that manifestation she looked at me uh, looked at me uh, from head to toe she had a very serious look on her face she seemed to be hyperactive i mean the kind of person who is always thinking about several things at the same time I have to admit I got a little scared of her approach. So do you want to go out on Friday night to discuss it some more? The food seemed to run round my stomach after such a straight question. Me? A uh, rescuing hand pats on my shoulder. It was Eddie. Hi Joe, I'm sorry for not showing up earlier on. That's okay, you came at the right time. He had no clue about what I was referring to. This is Betsy Morrow. Betsy, this is my friend, Eddie Morris. Pleased to meet you. We can talk later, if you want. No way, Joseph. Just needs to tell me something. Do you, Joe? Sorry, don't you, Joe? I look at her and Ed looked at me. I just knew he was dying to crack a joke. I had no way out. Yes, of course. Ring me up later so we can make the final arrangements. Okay, bye. See you later, Eddie. See you. We continued to look at her as she walked away. Eddie, Eddie turned to me and... You go, Joe. On the, first, on the very first day. Gosh, she's my sister's friend. And this is my, like some sort of a joke. I know. Forgot about it. Where's the lectures list you spoke about? Oh, here it is. He gave me a list of eight lectures that would be in the parapsychology, parapsychology department that month. The majority of them were their very professors trying to promote their books. Yet, the two Germans that Ed mentioned that morning made me very interested. They were professors optimum and Handraven, both from the University of Frankfurt. The idea of re registering a paranormal phenomenon attacked me a lot. If I could only have shown my brother waving on the screen, on the TV screen to my parents, they would have been very happy to know 
that he was in peace. So, how did you find your classes? They are good, they are good. And you were right about the physics professor, he's a very nice man. We still talked it for a while in the cafeteria and later on we walked it to our next classes. Eddie was very talkative and very helpful. He helped me a lot on first weeks in college, yet that day he could not stop teasing me teasing because of my nutty Betsy. Of nutty Betsy. But she was not joking. We an, went out, talked about certain phenomena and in the end we became good friends. It was interesting, especially for a first week in Harvard. And that's the end of the chapter 6. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I expect you in the next chapter, chapter 8. And don't forget to subscribe to both channels, Tapa Olho Azul and Super Academia. Till next time, bye bye.